Welcome to Special Data Hub. This is the second video of my PostgreSQL series. And here I'm going to show you how to create a database in PostgreSQL, how to set up your PostgreSQL extension, schemas, and an important intro to the general PG admins uh, interface. I have mine already opened here to save some time. So enter your master password. If you already got this mixed up, don't worry, check out the description of this video and uh, drop a link on how to set up your PostgreSQL. So, so first we are going to create a database. To create a database, simply right click here, as you can see I already have a number of databases set up so you right click create database then you set the database name let's call it special i found it somehow somewhat better to just stick with lowercase It's case sensitive. So if you create a database here with a capital B, then when entering it, when importing files into your database, you have to use it exactly this way. So let's just stick with this. The owner, let's leave it at the super user Postgres. Then you can enter a comment here on maybe just to remind you of the reason why for this database in case it has a similar name or something. Go, we are good here. Save. Special data hub has been created. Then we can now set up our extensions here. You see, there is no major extension set up. To set it up, let's create a special extension. We'll set type in post GIS. You can already see it here, post GIS, and then save. If your special extension is not set up, then you will not be able to import things like shape files into your database. You will not be able to read the geometric columns in your database. So you can confirm whether this is set up from your schemas. From your schemas. Scroll down to tables and then you see the special reference system. So if you already have you already have the um, files imported into your database, then you'll find it under tables. I will drop a link in the description too when I make the video on how to import shape files into PostgreSQL. Before then Let's just check out one of the databases which I've worked on. And I'll show you around the PostgreSQL interface so that you can be very familiar with it. Not this. As you can see, there's a difference between Polygon data with capital P and capital D and Polygon data with all lowercase. Yes, we have a whole database here. Then let's check out this one. Oh, precipitation to to view a table. You can click on view, right click, go to view slash edit data. You can select it at all rows or just the first hundred rows. The first 100 rows limits it to, I'd say, limit 100 clause to it. So, unfortunately, for this, for when viewing a table, you can't edit it directly. So, let's just copy this and I'll show you how to query a table. You can either click here, query tool. 
to open the query tool. See where I clicked? Or you right click on any table here, opens the query tool. When you click here, query tool, you are not only going to query that particular table, but any table in the database. So you can also click here, query tool. And then enter to run your queries and click on execute. Or the shortcut for it is F5. To run your query, F5. We can remove the limit here to say limit 10. F5 to bring out just the first 10 results. Yeah, here we go. Then to um to assess our PSQL command line, you can right click on any of the tables on the database here. Right click and go to PSQL2. If you're more comfortable using the command line, you can also assess this tool using um, the um, your PC command line. If you're using Windows, you're using PowerShell and all. But let's just do this to get your list of tables in the database. Sorry, backslash T, not fault slash T. It provides you a list of all tables in the database. So if you're more comfortable using the command line, then feel free to do that. Backslash question mark provides you with help and the help available is quite endless. Then you can enter any other queries which you want, which you are more comfortable using. To run a query, we've seen that. Yeah, the scratch pad, the scratch pads. If you already have a query running here, let's say select, and you want to find, um, just save up something here, you can easily use this on your scratch pad. You can Although it doesn't always save, so you can decide to use stuff like VS Code or Atom for that. Then you can check out your query history. You can check out your query history here to track back on queries which you've run earlier. You can save results. Let's run that query which we ran earlier. I use the shortcut F5. You can save results. If you want to save these results, this table to a CSV file, just click on download and it gives you an option to save. Let's just save it anyways. You will find it in our downloads file. So, um, what else to delete a table? To delete a table, you can click on it, right click, and you see delete slash drop. After importing a file into your database, you can come here to refresh it so that it shows up here and you can query it. To delete a database, basically the same thing. Right click on it. Right click on this and delete or drop. That's about it. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to upload ship files to a database using some of the installed special extensions. 
If you didn't install the special extensions, check out the playlist and you'll see a list of them. An intro video on how to inst properly install PostgreSQL and set up your database. So, see you in the next video.